<laughs> All right, everybody, on this episode of Unglued Modeler, we are going to build an airplane stand. So in anticipation of the next step for our Carbon Cub build, we're going to be getting the fuselage out. And we realized we don't have a, a stand to put this on. Yeah, we didn't think that far ahead. Yeah. So <laughs> uh, rather than ordering one and waiting another week, maybe two weeks for one, we're just going to build one um, out of PVC pipe. So we had some of this stuff laying around around the house. So we only had to go buy a, a few of these fittings. Um, but there's a lot of plans online on how to build your own PVC stand. We're going to put the link to the stand design that we are using and we slightly tweaked it a little bit just to fit the carbon cub and, and our needs. And um, we found it on RC Universe. Yeah, it was on RC Universe. So like I said, we'll, we will post the link to it. Um, but yeah, just pretty simple PVC type stuff. You know, you got the OD purple primer and the glue, bunch of different fittings and the length that connect it all. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start building it. Um, let's make our own stand. So I think maybe we'll have maybe 20 bucks, 25 bucks into this and you know. Yeah. And we're using half inch pipe. Uh, the original stand that we were following, they used the one inch pipe, uh, but we're just using the half inch because we had a lot of this stuff laying around <clears throat> and I think it's gonna be plenty strong. So we'll see, but uh, let's get building. You know, we got uh, just a bunch of stuff. These are just those uh, PVC cutters. They're not mandatory, but they make cutting the pipe so much easier. Really easy. So if you are going to do this, highly recommend getting these. I think those are like less than ten dollars. Yeah, they're not that expensive. Quick and easy, but you don't need them. You could use a hacksaw, but that's a pain in the butt and it gets messy. But anyway, we like these. Okay, so we're going to start gluing all this together. So we're just going to start on one of these bottom legs. We're going to build it up, basically one side up, and then uh, just show you how we're putting it together, and then we'll kind of speed it up and do the other side. So I'm sure everybody's used the uh, purple primer and glue before. Pretty easy. Nothing, nothing too crazy here, you just spread the purple on. Yep, so we start off with the middle, the T, and then the legs. Yep. Okay, and the legs are, well, we, what did we cut it, five and a half? Yep. These are five and a half. Yeah, because we modified it a little bit uh, versus the plans we're following. So these are five and a half. So, get it in there, you turn it as you're putting it in so the glue spreads around. Okay. Gets kind of messy, guys, so that's why I got the cardboard down. More glue in there. As you're putting it in, just kind of spinning it. It's not like we're making a, a, water, a water joint, but. That's how you, how you get it nice and strong. All right, so now we're gonna put the, um, the elbows on the ends. So same thing, a little bit of purple primer first. And put that away. Get some glue out, make a big mess. Nope. Gross glue. So this is where you're gonna wanna make sure your elbows are the same as the up and down. And if you've ever worked with this PVC, this glue before, you'll know that once you get it, once you put it on, that's it. You kinda get... You're committed. Yeah. It sets up quick that I don't know. I really don't know if it's a chemical reaction with the purple primer or not, but um, just kind of set the caps on there, eyeball it. We're not, you know, not building a spaceship here, but we do want it as even as possible so it sits flush on the. That looks pretty good. Okay, and then uh, we are going to put caps in the bottom just to act as feet. So we got a couple caps right here. So, same thing, a little bit of primer. Primer, primer. You can see this gets messy quick. Oh, yeah, I know. And Everywhere. it smells wonderful. So. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, you probably should be wearing a mask, but <laughs> you know, it's on Glue Modeler. We do a lot of things that you're probably not supposed to do. Okay. 
Caps, just you can just pop those. Oh in yeah, there. oh that's no easy. Problem. Yeah, these are pretty easy. They just go in and sit flush so the pipe isn't exposed. Yeah, so we'll just double check, make sure it's sitting flat. Oh, that looks nice. Looks yeah. good. All right, so we got a uh, one bottom here done. Now we're gonna start just going up, and these are gonna be the supports that give the lateral structural rigidity so okay okay so let's just put one of these guys in and those in between pieces we cut to one and a half yeah and these little uh in between like mary said just said are one about one and a half inches yeah <laughs> okay these in make it a mess Oh, look at that. Oh, oh. yeah. So it's flush. So right here, okay. so this is where you want it to be perpendicular or 90 degrees to your leg. So this thing comes out looking as good as possible. So that looks pretty good. I might try and spin it just a hair. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, looks nice. All right, so we'll just keep going up. Another insert. It's going by pretty fast. Oh yeah, this stuff goes quick. It's just glue. The, yeah. well, the, the cement. It just really sucks if you accidentally get one that and you can't straighten it out in time. Yeah. A lot of a lot of cuss words start flying. Yeah. Cause like I said, once you put these together, that's pretty much it. PVC is pretty fun. I actually like working with it. It's just messy and stinky, but it's cool. You can build you can build so much stuff out of PVC. It's just like Legos with chemicals. <laughs> Legos, with chemicals. Legos with chemicals. For adults. Yeah. So right here, this is, a, this is also really important here. So make sure that is the same angle as the one below it. Yeah, I'm gonna, oh, okay. I'm gonna leave that. I think, yeah. it's, I think it's pretty much set up anyway, but it's so close. Okay. Like I said, we're not building a spaceship, just a, an airplane stand, but we're trying to get it as accurate as possible. All right, All right, one more little uh, little guy here. Yep. This is our first deviation um, from the plans that we're following. So we are actually going to use some we call it the weird piece. <laughs> it's a ninety degree. So we're going to go like this because we want a V at the top holding cradle yeah. in the airplane. The original plans have a T and then it goes. Yeah, it, it, it's, it, it ends up the plane sits in like a flat cradle and I wanted more of a secure V. So anyway, so yeah, 90 goes opposite way now. So again, make sure this is for maximum accuracy perpendicular to the other pieces. It looks like it needs to be turned just a little bit to your, uh, I think to your left. No, Okay. I'm looking straight down at okay. it. Definitely. Maybe it's just. That's actually good right there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, this, it, they set up quick, so you get a little okay. kind of one shot. It looks like basically like that. Yeah, and then, then we're gonna oh. put this guy right here, and then the V is gonna cradle the, the plane. Okay, cool. All right, one more little connector thingy. All right. Last piece here for this side. Get some primer, like always, primer. Glue, look at you. Here we go. Spin him on. As you're spinning it, just check it real quick. This is just a straight up eyeball. That looks pretty good. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Even and if it's real, and if it's close, that's fine. Because remember, it's just a, a V that yeah. holds the plane. So if it's a degree or two off, that's not a problem. But if you have it way off. It, yeah, you might not like that. Okay, right. so one side is built. Just to give you a preview of what's what, what we're doing here. <clears throat> so these are gonna go on right here at the end. And we're gonna build this whole assembly again over here. And then these long pipes connect it in the middle. Okay. Okay? So we're gonna build up this whole- The other side. Same assembly, just we're gonna right. speed it up. But okay. this, this is what we're doing.
<laughs> All right, our airplane stand is done. So it's not the prettiest thing, but it's gonna hold an airplane and I think we have less than $20 into this. So um, like I said, we didn't wanna buy a, a stand and have to wait in the mail, so. A couple pieces we had laying around, trip to Home Depot, and uh, a little searching on the internet for a picture of a PVC stand and we, we made one. Yeah. So it should work. Moment of truth, let's get the fuselage of the Carbon Cub preparing for the next stage of the Carbon Cub build. I don't know if you're following it or not, but that's why we built this, because we need it. So let's go get it. Yay. All right, here's the Carbon Cub. So you can see it's a pretty big plane. There we go. Oh, it sits nice. Nice and sturdy, right? Yep. So it sits in the cradle nice. The foam holds it really nice. You can see plenty strong. It's at a nice working height. Oh yeah, it is. You know, yeah. you can see, so if you do got to work on some stuff, it's a really nice working height. Uh, our next step on the carbon cub is actually on the tail. So I'm, we're going to be back here doing stuff. Yeah. So I think this is going to work really good. I think so too. I think a couple things that we would have changed was the foam insulation. I think we got the wrong size. Yeah, I might, yeah, I might change out got, the foam. Yeah, we got the half inch. It should have gotten three quarter inch. And then the caps, should have probably just used the plugs. Yeah, the caps the really aren't working out. Probably the plugs would, like Mary said, be a little better. But, but, then, but overall, it, it works. Yeah. And uh, I'm happy with it. All right. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you learned something or got an idea at least. Maybe you can just tweak our settings because we tweak the settings off of uh, RC Universe for the original plans and just came up with this, but just kind of shows you, you don't need to go buy a pre-built airplane stand, a uh, quick trip to Home Depot and a little ingenuity and you could have your own. So anyway, thanks for watching. It was kind of a fun little afternoon project. Me and Mary had fun. We always have fun building these things, uh, getting our hands dirty and goofing around, but thanks for watching. Follow the Carbon Cub build if you're not already, because it's a pretty cool plane. As you can see, it's big. This is an actual giant scale plane. Uh, we've already got the wings done and uh, the wingspan. What's the wingspan on this, Mary? Do you remember I, 90, 90, 90 inches. So I, yeah, 90 inch plane. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah. 96 inches is eight feet. So just under eight feet wingspan. Gonna be cool. Anyway, all right, thanks for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.